Here we have today our model TB60 border code T606 tube and pipe bender. Shown with one of the standard formers of pipe. Also available is some optional tube bends. This machine has a 1.1 kilowatt, 240 volt, 10 amp electric motor with a safety brake. The machine automatically will pull around to the desired angles, stop and then return back to its home position. I'll just perform a small demonstration for you. This is standard one inch nominal bore pipe. Firstly, you put that keeper over there, lock that in. This comes through a little bit loose. Just set the vise, lock that. On the display unit, I have 180 degrees. So now this pipe will be pulled around to 180 degrees as shown there. You'll notice on the side of here that there's a button on the left and the right. They must be pressed at the same time to make the machine operate. The machine has now stopped automatically. I've taken my fingers off the button. And as you can see, you now have your uh, perfect event uh, water pipe. There, that came out rather good. Minimal deformation. You can go up to 50 programs on this machine. 90. We can go up to nine bends on one program. Go down to something pre-programmed here, 35 degrees, 45, 60, and 90. With a five degree spring back radius, which would be typical on this particular material we're about to bend. Now load program two with two preset angles. And then perform the program. Now the second bend. I will now demonstrate changing from our pipe former, which we sh showed before, down to a tube former for so doing some stainless steel. Firstly, we'll take the main former off there, then quite simply, take the followers off, then I'll change to the new former we're going to use for 31.8 millimeter stainless tube. You'll see I've got a couple of spaces there plus the outer former and then this pin. I'll now bring this up. Close to the main former. And 
with that on there, we'll be ready for our workpiece. Here I have a piece of 31.8 millimeter stainless steel tube. We now insert it to the machine. I'll bring the clamp up and I'll give it an extra tighten on here uh, to ensure that uh, we get a, a better bend. Now I have both my fingers on the go button either side of the machine. I'll now press go. The machine has now stopped itself and will reverse. The machine has now stopped itself and ready for its next bend after we unload this one. As you can see, after putting a little bit of lubricant onto the workpiece, we have now achieved a very good bend with minimal deformation. To achieve this quality of bend, I ensured that I had the seam sitting upwards. There, I marked it uh, so uh, so that you would get this quality of bend. Uh, if you had the seam inside or outside, you would probably find you have a bit more crush in the bend area.